Hi everyone, my name is Amber, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about all the March debut books that I'm looking forward to reading. At the moment I am doing a debut showcase feature on my blog and I decided to bring it over to YouTube and I'm planning on doing this kind of list every single month to bring some debut books to your attention. I think it's really important to support debut authors, especially during this coronavirus outbreak because a lot of people are having to cancel their events. So I'm here and I'm going to be telling you about which books I'm most looking forward to reading. I'm just going to scooch on over a bit so I can put the cover on the screen. The first two books are ones that I have already read and I would highly recommend. I've spoken about these a couple of times already. The first one is Only Mostly Devastated which is YA contemporary about two teenage boys who fall in love over the summer. It's kind of a Greece retelling in that one of the boys turns up at the other boy's school. The boy who's already attending the school pretends he doesn't know the new guy. This isn't really for popularity reasons like it is in Greece though it's because he's not out as bisexual yet so he wants to be careful so that his secret doesn't get found out. The next one is All Your Twisted Secrets, which is a YA thriller. I absolutely loved this one. I gave it four stars. It's kind of a closed room mystery thriller. All of these main characters, I think there are five or six of them, come together for dinner in this old mansion and they're locked in a room and they have to decide which one of them has to die in order for them all to be let out otherwise they don't know what's going to happen they could stay in there forever. This is one that I'm probably going to reread fairly soon because I read it a few months ago as an advanced reader's copy. I really enjoyed it and it was very fast paced, very well put together and I'm really impressed by the author. Darling Rose Gold which is another YA thriller and this one sounds amazing. It's being pitched as Sharp Objects meets My Lovely Wife. I have read Sharp Objects but I haven't read the latter so I'm probably going to get around to reading that soon which makes me very excited for this one. It's about a girl called Rose, Rose Gold, who was raised by a lying mother. The mother was arrested and jailed for fraud I think a few years back and then she serves her time and is released and this is set during the time that she is being released and Rose Gold has to try to deal with her mother. The Last Human which is space opera, this sounds really good, it's about the last human from Earth who is running from uh, what I think is an artificial intelligence and I assume that they run into aliens because he can't be the only character, right? The Operator, this is one that I mentioned in my March New Releases video, this is about a woman who works as a call line operator, call centre operator. I can't remember the exact name for her position but basically she gets to listen in on various phone calls in her town and she hears so much gossip and then one day she hears something that changes her world. I think this one sounds really good, I'm very excited for it, this is another one that I'm going to buy as soon as I possibly can. If These Wings Could Fly which is another review copy that I received. This one is why contemporary, it's about a young girl whose parents fight. I think it covers a lot of domestic violence and I'm hesitant to read it which is why I haven't picked it up yet and I can't review it properly for you but I do think it sounds quite good and I think it's been getting quite a few good reviews so far so that's promising. I think the main character basically wants to get on with her life. Salty Bittersweet which isn't one that I heard of before I started doing research for this video but it's about a Latina main character whose grandma taught her all sorts of recipes and there's a position opening up in a local restaurant and she wants to be a chef there. I think it sounds like something that I might enjoy. Which is a Vash and Ruin which is a fantasy book inspired by Celtic mythology. I think this one is set in a small village in Ireland and the main character is coming out or has come out as bisexual, which hasn't been received well. And then to top all of that off, a witch is also found murdered. So I'm not sure if witches are kind of out in this society or what's going on but I'm quite looking forward to reading this one. I also have this one as a review copy so I'm going to pick it up ASAP. Most likely which it says it's about the teenage years of the future female president of the United States and I'm curious to see how the author is going to pull this off because I'm not really sure how it's going to work if we know that the main character is going to be president already or if people are just saying she's most likely to be president or maybe it starts out in present day where she is president and then goes back to her teenage years. I'm not entirely sure but I am looking forward to reading it. Sparrow which is about a main character who is a ballerina. She is apparently haunted by her past and this book also covers domestic violence. I don't tend to go for books with the themes of like musical or musical theatre or dancing because it's just not really my kind of thing but I might consider picking this one up if the reviews are any good. The Edge of Anything which is about a teenage photographer which is something that I've not actually read about before. I think this one is very much about mental health as the main character feels like she is losing her mind. She feels very isolated and I think she is struggling to find motivation to continue on with her hobby. I think this one does sound really good and I love the cover for it so I'm looking forward to reading it. Finally we have 
have another one that I have a review copy of and I've had it for the longest time and I still haven't read it because I am the worst. This is We Are Promised Spotlights. This one is about a popular girl at school who is homecoming queen. Her entire family are dentists and she is kind of, I don't know, destined or expected to become a dentist as well, except that's not what she wants with her life to do with her life. To top all of that off, she is also either gay or bisexual, I can't remember which. The synopsis just says that she's queer and she, I guess, has to come out to her friends and family and maybe that affects her popularity in some way. It's a very short book, I've got a review copy over there and I will be picking up very soon. Those are all the debut books that I am looking forward to reading in March. I do this video every single month so please do subscribe if you want to see more from me. Let me know in the comments below which debuts you're most excited for and I'll speak to you soon in another video, bye.